Hey everybody, welcome to today's Geniuses, where we get to talk to the cool, brilliant innovators who are bringing us the future today. Today we're gonna to be speaking with Greg Gage. Greg's an engineer over at Backyard Brains, which is the organization responsible for something called the Robo Roach. Hey Greg, thanks for being with us today. Yeah, thank you for reaching out. So tell us a little bit more about Backyard Brains, and if you could, explain what the Robo Roach is. Yeah, so the goal of Backyard Brains is to uh, basically bring neuroscience, like something that typically is only done in graduate school and make and bring that into like the high school and even down to the fifth grade classroom. And so uh, what we're trying to do is make ex experiments that, that sort of gradually get harder and harder and harder so that by the time that you're in high school, you're going to be doing experiments that are that are currently uh, even difficult to do in a, in, a, in a neuroscience lab at a graduate research university. And so the Robo Roach is um, uh, one of our latest inventions that allows you to do uh, sort of uh, neural stimulation of, of the peripheral neurons to allow the, a cockroach to move in the direction that you want them to move into. Wow, and so you're doing this with a smartphone, right? So how does that work? What do you push around on the smartphone and make it move around? So when you pick up your cell phone and you want the cockroach to move to the uh, right, for example, you swipe your finger on the, on the cell phone that you want him to go in that direction. And what happens is there is a it talks over Bluetooth low energy and it sends a command to the backpack that's sitting on the cockroach, which is like this guy right here. And this guy interprets that signal and says, all right, he wants to go to the right. And so what he's gonna do, he's gonna send a, a pulse into the left hand's left antenna. And there's a current that's gonna pass between the left antenna and it's gonna go back to the ground. And that's gonna allow us to cause those neurons to fire. All right, so you're firing neurons in cockroaches. I get that part, but how does that actually make a cockroach move? I have to step back one more time and explain what a cockroach does uh, naturally, like his natural behavior of a cockroach. And so he does um, turning based upon his antennas. And so it uses the antennas uh, to sort of navigate the world. And uh, one of the things it does is that when it touches something, it wants to turn in the opposite direction. And so what we're doing is we're sort of like simulating as if it was touching the wall. And so when these neurons fire, like the, the neurons don't know if it's firing because it's touching something, if it's firing because of, there's electrical current that's causing it to fire, right? So the brain receives a signal and it thinks there's something there and it's gonna turn uh, because of that. So you're manipulating the brains of cockroaches. That's pretty cool. What kind of discoveries are you guys making doing this? One of the things I will tell you uh, from when we shipped these out to high school kids, uh, there was a group in New York City that found out last summer that if they put in their iPods and just played the current from an iPod, they could get the cockroaches to turn and they wouldn't adapt as quickly as they were doing with our stuff. And so that that made us think like, we're, you know they, they're onto something. I mean, like if you if you randomize the stimuli, maybe that's what's causing that. Maybe the brain adapts quicker to like a, a constant, you know, frequency of of, of a tone. So uh, that really pushed us to to, to, to go into the, the Bluetooth option because now we have an option that you can turn on this randomization mode, which which is not a standard frequency, but it's it's a range of frequencies, which uh, we're hoping to discover that we can actually maybe even help, uh, you know, in biomedical engineering and in science science in general is by discovering something new about stimulation of neurons. So the thing that I like the most about this, Greg, is it sounds like these kids are actually helping you make scientific discoveries. What are you excited about going forward, working on this? The idea of putting these in the hands of like, you know, thousands and thousands of people, is exciting for me and for, for us at Backyard Branch because it's gonna help us, you know, uh, maybe launch the next version of, of the, what we call the neural revolution. So like, just like in, um, in the 1970s, you could buy a computer, right? But it would cost you lots of money to do that. It's the same for neuroscience right now. Uh, and so I'm hoping that with this, with this DIY bio revolution and the, and the neural revolution that we're trying to push is that if we make the tools and technologies cheap enough that you can get them in the hands of amateurs, we can start pushing that, that the acceleration uh, of our learning about how the brain works uh, much, much quicker. That sounds really exciting, Greg. I'm looking forward to seeing how fast you can really push the boundaries of neuroscience with this. Thanks for being with us today. We appreciate it. All right, thanks, Chris. Thanks for having me on and anytime. We only had a short amount of time with Greg today, but if you want to learn more about him or the Robo Roach Project, go ahead and visit backyardbrains.com. They're doing some pretty crazy stuff over there. If you like this episode, click subscribe on the channel below or watch some of our other videos. We've got some great stuff on here. 
Unless you're a cockroach fetishist, we don't have all that much more material about controlling bugs' minds on here.